anyone saw anything, who fired that first volley of four rounds into the air? We don't know. This individual is shot. We don't know who shot him. This individual is shot as well in just a second. This is the scene where the individual in yellow I just showed you gets shot. I won't disclose how many times rounds were fired at him. I won't disclose how many times he was hit. I won't disclose how, how serious his injuries were. But the, this is the exact time that the young man in yellow gets shot. Here's his shooter. Yellow shirt, white glove, hand extended out. At this point in time, we do have a statement from witnesses. And based on some video evidence, we do believe that Jaquise Lewis was the one that fired those rounds and hit the other young man in yellow. Sir, what was that then? This picture, we believe, we have a witness statement, and based on some circumstantial evidence, based on what we see in the video, and we don't see everything in the video, so we can't say 100%, but we are, we are um, fairly confident that this is a picture of Jaquise Lewis shooting the individual in the yellow shirt that you saw previously. This guy. Well, no, not the first shot, because we've already had one shot fired. This man is now paralyzed. That was the first shot of the that was the first shot of this whole altercation. We don't know who shot. He's still paralyzed. He's still paralyzed at this time. For the guy in the red, probably not Jaquise for that one. But again, we don't know. Right. For that one, we have no idea who shot the young man in the red. But he was our first victim. This is the individual who gets shot second. Is he with the ski system or is he with like a skateboard in the park? This young man was walking through the skateboard. What about the yellow? The one in the yellow was with the skateboard crew. And for lack of for lack of better definitive terms, I will utilize skate park group and Jaquise Lewis group just just to kind of keep them separate as best we can. So as I walked you through, we had then we had an unknown individual fire approximately four rounds into the air. And then the, the I'm sorry? Where is Jaquise Lewis in this picture? In this picture? You can see a yellow shirt here. You can see that white glove that I showed you in that very first picture with his hand out here. In the video, and again, I'm not going to disclose the number or the times, but in the video, right at this moment, you hear audio, audibly gunshots. That, based on our, after, on our forensics and where we found victims, is where we found the young man in the yellow shot. So we know this is where someone was shot. We have someone pointing or at least extending his arm out as though he's holding a gun. We have a witness statement that puts Jaquise Lewis as the shooter, but we haven't forensically confirmed that. Does that make sense? Okay. Moving on. Here's Jaquise Lewis again after our second victim has been shot with a gun in his hand, pointing it at a group of people who are behind this Los Altos pillar here. There's an entire group of people behind that pillar that you can't see because of the angle of where the person with the gun or with the camera is standing. And then you have an individual who we know returning fire at Jaquise Lewis. Is that Jaquise Lewis trying to get into a car or where is he going? At this point, we don't know what he was doing. He's walking, is that south? Would that be south there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's walking south, okay? There is, remember, on the other side of these cars here that you can't see anymore because the camera man went this way. You already have one person who was shot, and you have a big group of people this way. So Jaquise is walking that way when he is engaged. All right? You will all get copies of those pictures. So you guys can, you can analyze them and look at them yourselves and use them for your, for your stories. So I, as you can tell, 
it was, as I mentioned earlier, just pure chaos. Probably 50 people at the skate park. We've interviewed 10. We've interviewed 15 to 20. Almost all exclusively were from the skate park group. We have asked repeatedly, and we have still not gotten any cooperation from the Jakees Lewis group. And as you can tell, there are lots of spaces in that video that happen out of the side of the video, in the darkness, bad angles. We can't tell what was happening, and we're trying to fill in those gaps. So we need these people to come forward and say, well, here is what happened here. And that's why we're having this today, just to kind of lay out the facts, put, a, put, to, to, put to rest any rumors, yes, we do know who shot Jakees Lewis. At this time, based on what we have right now, the evidence, the statements, the facts we know to be true now, that's being treated, and this is through three different talks with the DAs, two meetings, three meetings? Four. Okay. We've had four meetings with the district attorney, showing them the facts that we have at this point, showing them the full video, walking them through what we know, and we've all come to the conclusion that at this point, Jakees Lewis was shot in self-defense. Could those circumstances change? Possibly. But we need information to make those circumstances change. No, we're not asking them for them to change. The facts are what the facts are. But the facts we have at this point right now in time don't lead it to be a homicide. They lead it to believe, or us to believe, and the DA to believe that this was justified based on um, self-defense. Twenty? Over twenty. Over twenty. So about half. Not about. What does the autopsy reveal in terms of like where he was shot at? Can I get that up? Uh, we can't do that right now. Have you talked to the person that you think fired in self defense? We have numerous times. He's cooperative. We're not releasing his name because he's not being charged with the crime right now. But we've talked to him, we know who he is, we know where he is, um, and we've talked to him three times already. Yes, yes, he's wrong. Do you feel like he's in any kind of danger if he is involved in something? He, he believes he is, and we um, have gotten some information that he could possibly be, yes. Was he shot? Was he with anybody? No, the individual that shot Jaquise Lewis was not injured. What about the person telling him that the uh, guy in the red shirt was a semi um, He literally just gave his first statement to detectives at the beginning of this week. He's been in critical condition for that long. Was a gun recovered by the people? That's part of the issue that we have right now. We believe, as we've already put out, that we have approximately, at this time, based on casings, four shooters. We've got zero guns. Even the gun of the individual who, right now, we're, we're, we're leaning towards self-defense on, he got scared and he ditched his gun as well. We have zero guns to match to any casings. What about the We're looking into it. We have no idea. We're getting zero cooperation from that side of things. So are there the age group that you're talking about? Oh, we think that that child is with the Jakees Lewis group. Where group? Don't know. Um, the family of Jakees Lewis, they said that they, after the shooting, they found several more casings outside in the park. So then um, what is the idea of why they didn't get all of the casings? I don't have any information. Have you been contacted about that at all? If that's the case, then we would ask for them to call our detectives so we can collect those casings from them. Those are evidence. Um, most of that scene was processed at night. As you could see, the, the, the scene was rather large. It spanned several yards. Um, could, could we have missed something? Absolutely could have missed something. I'm not saying we did. Those, those could have... We don't even know if those casings were found at the scene. I'm not calling her a liar, but until we have those and we can examine those, I'm not going to make a determination one way or another. And do you think this tied at all to the other incident in the Jaquise Park? Not at all. Is you guys still concerned about any level of retaliation happening at that skate park when there's still clearly a lot of people who know people who are involved right. in this who go there? Yes, there's been, there's been some information um, that there are still parties involved and parties that are upset that, that might be wanting to retaliate. Yes, that is a concern of ours. Obviously, we're going to put it out uh, on a media that 
it looks like there will be no child uh, charges filed. What effect do you think that'll have on the the Keith Lewis group? Do you think? We, we, we hope that, that if nothing else, it, it provokes them to come forward and talk to us. Um, keep in mind, that's part of the reason we didn't show the entire video, because what they tell us is going to have to match up somewhere with what we know to be true. Um, but if they can give us substantial cooperative information that would lead this to contradict anything that the individual said or did, then that's something we can always reexamine. And keep in mind that even at the very end of the day, if we decide as a police department that no charges will be filed, we are still going to take that entire case with everything we've collected, with every interview we've conducted, and we're going to send that over to the district attorney's office. And they will also have a bat at the ball. And they will also have a chance to determine whether or not maybe they've, they've decided that, okay, well, this piece of evidence now says that maybe we should file charges. And the district attorney can always file charges as well. But I'm going to keep using this term at this point in time because it's exactly what it is. This is an active, ongoing investigation. We're not anywhere close to closing this investigation. But what we have in hand right now does not lead to charges of murder. How do you determine if it looks like in the future any factual turn, how do you determine that these facts are true? Because of the, the circumstances that led up to everything. We had two people that had been shot the individual that did the shooting in self-defense was one of the can, can I? Huh? and in the direction with which he was walking back to another group. He had already showed a propensity to not only fire rounds, but also threaten numerous individuals with the gun, and he was walking in a direction back to where there was another group of people. And so, actually in the direction of the guy in the yellow shirt who was already shot. Who had already been shot. So he was headed back towards that individual. What else can you talk about the person who had been fired He's, he's a 20-something, between the ages of 20 and 30, male, white. That's about all we're going to be able to reach right now. What about the person heroin? Is that male? He's a male subject. About how old? About 20, 25. With the people that you're communicating with, is there a chance of recovering the weapons, or did they get some good? I guess it's, I don't Probably, know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't at this at this point no one knows where any of the weapons are to be very honest with you is your determination that uh, there was no gang uh, this wasn't gang related at all come from the skateboard group yes and you haven't spoken to the other group at all well I, I believe uh, mrs. Lewis I believe Jakeesa's mom was also very um, vocal about the fact that this was not gang related um, so, so she she upholds that 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 account of ours. And there's no indication from the video uh, audio. Yeah, there's not there's no there's no gang signs being thrown. There's no gang terminology being tossed around. Um, all the audio in that thing is is very, um, I guess what you call down the middle of the road of what you would hear in a fight. No racial slurs being thrown. No gang terms being used. Nothing like that. In terms of the skateboarding. Did they say they just came to the skate park armed with guns? Like, where did all these guns come from? All we know right now is that uh, only we only know of one of these skateboarders that was armed. So the other three shooters are from different directions? As far as we can determine at this point, yes. Chris? I was just going to say, you guys don't have any indication that there were any known gang members involved in this whole thing. Okay, so yes, there were there were known gang members present okay. at the park. This is, you know, yeah, not gang related. No. Okay. One more question. Why are you all releasing the video? Okay, so as I as we showed you, there are probably 12 people that I just pointed out just now that we need to identify 
and interview as witnesses. We need to make sure that what they tell us, if they do eventually come forward, that what they tell us is accurate and can be corroborated by the facts we do know. And we don't want them to just parrot what they saw in a video that got released to the media. We want them to have their own accounts and their own statements on things that transpired and then for us to take that statement, look at that point in the video and be like, okay, that makes sense. Um, that, that, that adds up, they're telling the truth here versus us just putting the entire video out, someone watches the video and then comes back in and tells us, well, this happened here, here, and here and we don't know if they actually saw it or they, they watched it on YouTube. We, we have no idea who shot the young man in red first. We have no idea who fired four rounds into the air. Those are all questions we're trying to answer right now. Was gunshot residue found on the suspect's body? Autopsy. 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 So, that's something I just learned today too. Thank you, Sarge. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, guys. Thanks for coming.